exclusion that its members have suffered for many years. This has been confirmed by Bunyorokitara Reparations Agency Chief Coordinator Doviko Watwale at a meeting hosted at Copling Hospital Hotel, I beg your pardon, in Hoima City. Since time immemorial, people in Bunyoro under the Bunyoro Kitara Reparations Agency have sought justice over what they call the land displacement and disenfranchisement. They in fact filed a case against the government of Uganda, the Africa Commission for Human and People's Rights in Banjul, Gambia, and are now gratified that proceedings are going their way. We managed to show the government of the Republic of Uganda in African Union court, and we have won the case. And the government of Uganda was found guilty for trying to, to dispossess Banyoro from the ancestral land, trying to dispossess the indigenous Banyoro from politics, from at national level, uh, when, uh, with its policy of creating settlement schemes and then new districts for migrants who are coming in Banyoro. The Bukitarepa case was declared admissible in the 69th ordinary session of the Africa Commission on Human and People's Rights, which took place from 15th November to 5th December 2021. Declaration papers were passed to Wikitarepa on 26 September 2022. Ruling has been done and they are supposed to pay us that money 700 million pounds with interest at the national rate. We take it. So that is what we are aiming at and the ruling is in our hands. The main objective of Bukitarepa is the cancellation of my land tenure system in the vast areas of the former Bunyorokitara Kingdom, specifically Kakumiro, Kibale, Kagadi, Hoima, Bulisa, Masindi, and Kiriandongo. Bukitarepa also wants cancellation of the my land tenure system in the vast areas of land belonging to the Baruri and Banyara, namely Baruri Nakasongola, Luero Nakaseke, and Bugerere.